city of song and romance, architectural splendors, the ancient harbor of Naples, its blue waters dotted with small, peaceful vessels, a thing of vast beauty in the memory of yesteryear. But today, this panorama of beauty is suddenly deceitful and ugly. Battleships beside those shores, fascist troops, gun emplacements merge with the landscape, and in those blue waters lurk the deadly Nazi U-boats. It is a vital strategic center leading straight to what Winston Churchill calls the soft underbelly of the Axis, cradled by Sardinia on one side and Sicily on the other, and almost equidistant from both. It is a terminal base for the enemy. In other words, an ideal target for our Air Force. Gentlemen, the target for today is Naples. We will proceed from here to our advanced landing ground, from the advanced landing ground through the sole and heel of Italy, straight to Naples. Yes, the target for today is Naples. At an advanced base somewhere in Africa, our pilots and crews are briefed for their mission. Every detail that can help them destroy the objective is given to them now. Months of careful reconnaissance, espionage, and research are summed up by this intelligence officer in the zero hour before the takeoff. They must know what, where, and how, and they do. Go north of Mount Vesuvius. After releasing your bombs on your objective, turn hard south, thereby taking you away from land and taking you away from their ACAC. But you can expect lots of it because of the fact that the fleet is there. Be very careful in approaching the target and be alert to all pursuit. About ready now, city of romance and beautiful song, the Air Force has plans for you. No one man can grasp the enormous amount of preparation, planning, work, and skill that goes into each mission that leads up to the zero moment when the big ships take off for their target. Just a few months ago, these boys were finishing their final training for just this kind of a job. But all America has contributed its share. And the men flying these B-24s are what you might call the end product of a national assembly line. That's the bombardier going aboard, and he's carrying the most important piece of equipment on a B-24, the Norden bomb site. No one but the bombardier handles that site. misses on two others parked alongside it. There was a violent explosion and then a huge column of smoke came up that was visible to us from 40 miles away after we left the target. Did it look like it was a direct hit on that center cruiser? Certainly, it was a direct hit on the center cruiser. The, uh, the three ships were in line? Were in what? line, parked right beside it. was a bombardier's paradise. Did, were you able to observe the bombs from the other ships and the other elements as you were uh, pulling away? From some, yes. Uh, where did they fall? Well, some fell right in this large warehouse here. On that uh, mole? On this mole, yes. Uh, what color was the smoke? The huge white columns of smoke came up, which was different from the one from the battleship. It was black. Swell, Captain. This interrogation isn't just for the records or the newspapers. It has a purpose. From it, intelligence finds out enemy strength, anti-aircraft gun emplacements, enemy camouflage, all the details that make the next mission 
a bigger success than this one. Yes, intelligence did its job and the combat crews did theirs. Chalk up another successful mission for the Air Force with plenty more to come. And so we say farewell to beautiful Naples, city of song and romance and enchantment. But as long as your factories work for the fascist, we will blast them to flame. As long as there are U-boats and battleships in the harbors, that harbor will be devastated. Yes, the Air Force has been on a visit to Naples today. They will return tomorrow.